Welcome back Legionnaires and we have a new Rome 2 battle for you today. It's a 3v3 uh, between myself and uh, some other subscribers. Uh, I'll put it like that. Some of them are some subs and uh, we teamed up and decided to take on some random uh, some random Rome 2 players. So um, we have uh, the nomadic faction here, Mesegete. I am butchered that name for 100%. We've got the Seleucids. We have me myself as Galatia over here. I love playing as this faction. They're just their infantry is really solid and um, is a match for nearly enough anything. And we are against anyway. We are against Sparta, who you know this is a very strange choice for a field battle. Um, Sparta not usually someone that I'd uh, go for in like this sort of scenario. You want them really for a choke point uh, area or maybe for um, like if you're defending a city. Or something like that. Um, but we also have Rome um, in this. And obviously that's a, a safe option. Very good. They're very versatile in every scenario. So we have to watch out for Rome. Especially Sparta may be a problem. You know they've got some pikes and some nasty infantry. They may be of some use. Um, who knows. And we also have Bactria over here. Another interesting choice. I don't see Bactria often um, get played. Um, I guess just because of lack of sort of like really good melee infantry. Like they've got Thorax swords. But that's kind of the best melee infantry. Um, but they've got some, lots of units here, so we'll quickly have a look at what they've got. This come back to Hillman. They've got scale thorax hot plates. Um, I'll play it while while we wait, got, because there's um, quite a little bit of build up, and we have citizen cav, we have back to royal cavalry, Hellenic cavalry. They've got some good cavalry, and of course they brought elephants. I mean, who doesn't love elephants? They've got to see them. Um, but I mean, this is the first time I've actually, you think, in any of our battles, we've had the any of the nomadic factions. They're not usually a popular choice. Um, but we have them here today. I'm just going to call them the Nomadic Peoples because I'm not even going to try and pronounce their name every single time throughout this battle because I will uh, have an aneurysm probably or something like that because it's their name is so hard. I just... Names are hard. Uh, but anyway, so they brought a lot of armoured horse archers. They've also brought Median Cavalry. Uh, oh, no, this is Seleucid, sorry. This is, the Seleucids brought Median Cavalry and a Gemma Cavalry and there's a lot of Step Noble... Lancers and Saka cataphracts. So there's a huge cavalry push going on. And um, from what I remember, this is a, a quite an old battle now. But from what I remember, we decided that we were going to push this hill and we were going to try and take it from them. As you can see, Bactria's already given up. So I'm going to try and compete for this hill, which is um, probably not the greatest idea. If they'd mustered a lot of their cavalry, they probably could have um, certainly given us a challenge for this hill. But now we can just take our time and get up there. Um, I mean, Rome and Sparta aren't known for having the greatest of cav so we do have that advantage on them um in that our cavalry in the cavalry department we are a lot better i'd say we are slightly worse off on balance of power but that's probably because of the huge amount of cavalry we brought just like the the game just thinks well they brought less numbers so they've got less chance but it's not necessarily the case um but yes and obviously i brought my usual sort of galatian legionnaires Galatian Spears, um, and you've got Celtic Slingers and Mercenary Syrian Archers, along with four units of Noble Horse, of which one is my journal, which is always good. So that's, I mean, that's the usual, like, default uh, system I go with if I play as Glacier if I have the funds. It usually pans out very well, uh, to a certain extent. Um, the Sluteds brought a lot of pikes as well. They brought Thorax Spears, um, Thor um, Thorax Swordsman, and Hellenic cataphracts along with their own elephants hopefully we can see some elephant on elephant uh, combat that'll be quite good and then i mean rome's brought a lot of um triari evocati cohort um yes seems to be about it what else have we got back here praetorian guard oof they'll be tough to break through they'll be um certainly one way to hold up the line if there's any troubles for them also these guys will also help hold the line um if they get the opportunity spartan pikemen they sh they're going to be needed to compete with the uh, saluted pikemen to be honest um they're kind of on the wrong side of the battlefield so i mean sparta really needs to reposition himself but he's also i don't really know what formation he's going for he's left these three units out here on their own they are spartan hot plates are very good but i mean in this scenario if i could i could flank around and stuff like that but I'm I'm not interested. I'm following my teammates up this hill. We're slowly uh, slowly getting up that hill, and I'm playing as the right flank, basically. Um, though I was as I say that, look at this. Look at the nomadic uh, player here. He's just causing chaos on the back. He's just not not even by killing everyone, just by running around here. Though he needs to be careful because if any units break, we are very close to the like the, the red line of death. 
where you can't return. Um, so they will break and go permanently. Uh, so that's not that's something you does need to keep in mind when doing this. Um, and then a quick, I've, we'll have a quick look at Sparta. I mean, I kind of really already shown you what they've got. They've brought them um, Mercy Rodian Slingers. They brought some um, Creature Archers, Gorgo Skirmishers, the uh, female unit. That's for it. good to see them on the battlefield. Um, seeing this park and uh, the Spartan hot plates, not the park and hot plates, and the park and uh, pikemen it would be, but no, the Spartan pikemen. Gosh, I'm having a struggle, struggling with the words today, people. It's uh, don't even know why. And we've also got the heroes of Sparta, which remind me always of the ones from 300. Look at those guys. Look at those guys. They look goddamn awesome, don't they? They look amazing. Excellent. Love to see them. So we've gone through most of what everyone's got. Um, so now we just need to kind of now we just get to witness the battle as it unfolds. So already looks like. There's going to be a bit of a charge. Oh, yes, because there's a charge. Because look at all these archers that have been, like, left unattended. And we're going to get a bit of a charge here, I think. Look at those, um, like, headdresses that those horses have. They're, like, reminds me of, like, the goat uh, riders from, like, uh, The Hobbit. Oh, but they've collided. They've got... Uh, Rome did get some cavalry there in the end. The, for, certainly for this unit. They didn't for this uh, left side unit. They did actually get caught out, these barrel air slingers. Um, but these equites have saved the day and stop these noble lances and we also have some Hellenic cataphracts that are going in to try and help out so that's good um, but there's now a Gamma cavalry going, a Median cavalry going in the back here and doing some chaos and look at all these archers that are being called out Rome really needs to mobilize troops he's got infantry going up now to try and save them and get them um, and save them but his cavalry has been really slow in getting to the front lines and the, even this cavalry here look at the citizen cavalry here I don't know what it's doing it's just sitting here you need to get it up look at all this other cavalry that's like these uh, that could just go in and swim in, uh, swim in, swoop in. In fact, not swim in. It was we're not at sea yet. Um, and take the look. He's already going for it now. He's going to try and take these uh, bale X slingers, and he's setting up more archers for some reason. This is just madness, absolute madness. Here he goes. He's going to get another nice charge off. Excellent. Really well done by the uh, nomadic player here, looking for the openings. I mean, Rome is just being slow and late to the party. I mean, is that quite sort of got in to help save some of these archers? But so many of them are already dead. Look at all these dead guys. And now they're also being shot by horse archers as well. His um, cataphracts going in deep. I mean, they're definitely going to do some damage, but he needs to get them out of there because all this cavalry and infantry will do a lot of damage. Um, and while that's been happening, um, Bactri's almost cut himself off. He's like, look at him. He's kind of almost new boxing a bit. Um, so I'm looks like I'm going to have to take on Bactri. And Rome is being dealt with by the Seleucids and the Nomadic. And we're just going to try and beat them quickly enough before Sparta arrives. Because Sparta is a slow moving army. Full of hot plights and pikemen. It's going to take a long time for them to get here. So we're going to hopefully try and beat them and, and harass them along the way with my cavalry. Which is kind of just lingering in the back so they don't turn their backs. And we've got some more Nomadic cavalry over there. The Nomadic cavalry is just everywhere. I mean, it's ridiculous. And then we also... I mean, it looks like there's been a bit of an engagement over here as well. There's been some deaths that have gone on, but... It seems like everything's just going go into plan currently. And here we go. It looks like the main infantry charge is about to happen, happen for uh, my Galatian Legionnaires. Here they go. In you go, boys. Start cutting off some heads. I mean, they got a lot of friendly fire there on the, with their own javi uh, throws, those Eastern Spearmen. Those, oh no, Hillmen, not this Eastern Spearmen. Those mad men. I mean, these go will cut those Hillmen in no time. These scale, um, there are scales as... Uh, Hot plights gonna take a bit longer. I think the scale. I'm not really sure, but they're they're, they're Thoros spears, I think, aren't they? Of some sort. The scale, thorax hot plights. There we go. Don't really you see them? Oh, that was a nasty. Look at all these guys. Look at all these guys. They just got a point blank javel uh, like throw in the rear. Jeez, that is in trouble. And look at this. Their line is just breaking. I'm uh, just kind of just chasing after them now. Um, just trying like do some damage but I mean we're, I'm retreating now because I see that if I keep going any deeper that I'm going to be very cut off from the rest of the army like look Rome is still sort of holding here um, there's been a, a huge push I mean this down this right flank is chaos I mean um, a lot of stuff has probably broke very quickly and uh, run for the hills off that red line of death I mean so I can't go too quickly I'm going into the flank here I see an opportunity to flank on uh, these Evercardi cohort um, 
Oh no, maybe I changed my mind. I changed my mind. And I go for the cavalry that's like needs dealing with. Oh yes, I go for the general. I see the Bactrian general is at the front line, surprisingly. So I, se well, I send him in. I'm going to just trap him in combat. And we're going to try and then shoot him down with uh, arrows. And look at this mess. This is it's a beautiful mess because it's, a, it's death and destruction. But I mean, God, it's, it's a messy battle. Um, so Sparta is basically just about arrived here, so we are a bit slow in mobilizing our troops in time to catch out Sparta, but we've uh, we've done a lot of damage. Rome is in a sticky position. I think Rome's general, no, is still alive. I thought Rome's general may have been routed, but no, still alive. Bactria's, um, I actually can't see Bactria's general. Oh, here it is, right at the back. Um, he is still alive as well. At this point, I'm setting up my general along with its cavalry to get around and do some damage up there. Um, I've just scared these elephants off. They were trying to make a charge. Again, very stupid of Bactria, ready to send up his elephants on his own. He needs to send infantry in first and try and deal with, um, and try and occupy the infantry and use these guys' support. And look at this. These elephants, I don't know what they're doing. They're getting forced back into their own pikes. And there you go, Sparta's having none of it. He's going forward. Sparta is going forward. He's sending it looks like a couple of units forward at a time, which again is not a smart move. You want to either go all in or not bother. Um, because, I mean, currently he's in a fairly strong position if they sort this line out. Sparta and Bactria here have got a fairly strong position again. A solid line. My Glacian Legionnaires here are taking a lot of fire. We're quite beaten up. But um, we're, making, we're making headway. Look, look at all this cavalry that's just causing so much chaos. All the death that's gone on here already. It looks like mostly Romans. There is a lot of horses, though, from the nomads. Uh, it's kind of going a bit back and forth at the moment. Balance of power is definitely shifted in our favour. We are making a huge... I'm making another push here. Um, three units going in to try and occupy these guys, cut these guys down, because they're kind of almost cut off from the main battle line. I can't really draw, but, I mean, the battle line now for the enemy is kind of here. These guys are cut off, and, I mean, we're capturing, getting a lot of guys in here. Though. They're, sending, they're sending cavalry in now to try and help. But I don't mind. These guys, these Glacian Legionnaires, they've done their duty. They've, they've killed enough men. They can des they can die with honour. But I'm, I'd rather they didn't die. I do like my Glacian Legionnaires. They are my precious, as Gollum would say. Get those shields up indeed. Oh, God, there's a lot of arrows being fired. It's lagging the game a little bit. So many nomadic... Oh, it looks like... Okay, we are in a bit of trouble. We did miss it, but um, those Glacian... Spears of mine have been broken by armored e elephants, and we also have my Glacian Legionnaires fighting Triarii. But the Triarii are losing because they've made the attack, I'm pretty sure, and these Glacian Legionnaires just munch them up. Munch them up. And I'm coming in for a charge here in the rear. Let's watch this. Let's watch this nasty charge from the Glacian Nobles. In they come. Oof, that's not going to do them any good, those Triarii. Now their formation is completely broken. Look at all those guys that are dead. I don't know if they're dead or just dazed. Either way, they are dead men. Because if they get up, they're getting cut down. Are these, how are they not breaking? They're in some serious trouble. I mean, these are armored elephants in the back as well. Getting shot down. I'm dedicating quite a lot of my uh, archers now just to shoot them. We have pikes going forward. Um, this is good to see. I'm just sending in everything. Try and combat them before they put their pikes down. And then I've also got these Spartan hot plates. It's going to be a bit more of a trouble. But he's also attacking. Um, which is really not what I'm going to do. You probably wanted to stand his ground, form hot pipe wall, and then let me come at him. But he's in a just a sticky position because if he did that, then I just flank him. And look at this. We're so strong. We're pushing the elephants away. We are so strong. But I mean, yeah, it's a mess. I think these Spartan, yeah, those Spartan pipe men already gone. They're dead. They're down to 14. That was a full fresh unit. So many Spartan hot pipes here. They're well chevroned up, but they're getting, they're getting absolutely destroyed. And um, it's already looking pretty dire for them. This is, it's a 3v3, this is one of the quickest 3v3s I've ever seen, it's gone, it just escalates so quickly. Um, the fight over here, it's uh, almost over, it, Sparta is making a new box and is preparing for its final death. Um, Bactria, well Rome is out of it, Bactria is down to about a few units uh, around here and is desperately holding on, I think it has lost its general, Rome obviously has lost his general at this point. Um, and Sparta's is in combat and oh no his might be dead as well oh yes he probably is dead if he's just got the one yep he's definitely dead now so there's no generals left so their their morale is going to be bad and Bactria is almost gone here well that's it 
Factory is broken. Is everything's broken? Um, all their spears, all their spears, all their archers are breaking as well. And we're just shooting their pikes in the back. I'm happy just to leave my cavalry here. I, my cavalry can just look at them and I'll shoot them in the rear. Poor guys. These elite, these elite men. They're some of the best pikes in the game, and they're just getting, just getting abused with a few arrows in the back. This is oh, it's nasty. Imagine being this officer like, man, get back in line. I know we're dying because we're facing the wrong way, but there's not much we can do. We're doomed wherever we look, which is the case. Oh, that's na that nasty. Here they go. They're going to go in. They're going to march in. The smart thing to do, try and get some kills. And uh, I stupidly charge in. I think I didn't realize what like the unit was, but I don't really care at the same time, I don't think, because I've got units here in the, in the rear just ready to kill them. Oh, wrong one. Let's get a nice good old view. Look at that. Look at that death and destruction. These guys are done for. They are... Yeah, that's unfortunate. And look at that. A route. Everything gone. Dead. That was... It's a quite a quick 3v3. It's one of the quickest 3v3s I've ever been in. Which is why I thought of showing off. And my cork, who played as um, the Mesa Gete. Uh, that's the best you're getting, getting out of me. Um, excellent, excellent. I mean, his cav play was amazing. It's one of the best I've seen. Um, and Master Jet Set also doing very, very well. On uh, getting... Well, the most kills out of anyone. He did do a lot of uh, hard work with his cavalry as well, even though he brought less. And his uh, infantry did fairly well, actually. Um, Thorax Pikeman did very well. Shield bearers all do, getting like 150 kills, 160 kills. Um, Thorax Spear is actually doing surprisingly well. I mean, I don't usually get much luck with them, but he's uh, done quite well with them. And he one Thorax Swordsman was actually probably one of his worst units. Why I don't really rate them. And he's brought a lot of archers, and they all got nearly 100 plus kills. So that's excellent. Um, I myself, uh, my cavalry did fairly well getting a few kills, but they weren't really needed. They were kind of just more there to harass. My Galatian Le Legionnaires doing okay. Um, but I mean, I didn't really do much of the fighting in the end of the day. I did do a lot of melee fighting, but like most of the missile and cav work was done by the other two. And that's why they got like more kills. Um, unless you're my cork got the least but he did a lot of skirmishing and a lot of uh, harassing tactics which are needed Sparta unfortunately um, just did not really get into the flow of the game was kind of caught out of position because we all moved up onto that hill so he was kind of just left on that extreme flank with no one to look at so he had to really move but he didn't until like the last minute which is unfortunate um, none of his units really shining um, the best being really his heroes of Sparta but again like I said not nothing really shining Rome Gosh, had a rough start and um, didn't get any easier, to be honest. His Praetorian Guard doing his best with 70, but I mean, his cavalry, yeah, got overwhelmed and his archers, well, his missiles all got overwhelmed as well. It's a shame to see, but I was just, it was just well played by uh, Mike Hawk and Master Jet Set on, um, on just not giving them a second to, like, break at all. It was just constant attack. And then the best player um, off kills was Trelleman. He did quite well with his uh, units here. Um, his elephants getting the most kills, obviously. How many uh, kills did Jet Sets get? Oh, 267. God. Shame we didn't see these two fight each other. That would have been really good, but maybe another day we'll see elephants versus elephants. Who knows? Um, so anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later.